so you can see we are getting these foreground location updates now and uh, if i press the app into background you will see that it will show one lo uh, location in android that is the name of the app uh, this notification at the top to inform the user about the user's location today in this module we will see about the location uh, feature in android so basically if you remember the android basics module we had covered how to integrate google maps and how to build a very simple app so we had built this uh, save my car parking app so if you remember in this app we were able to save the spot of the car or any other thing any other location that you would like to save and once you want to go back to the spot we were able to launch google maps with the other button so in this video we will take it a little further uh, instead of using google maps directly or indirectly to get the location we will go through this code lab where we will see how to get the location updates from the android sdk continuously or repeatedly or once so basically it's the same code you can stop after once or you can keep getting repeated uh, repetitive updates on the user's location which you can then send to the backend or you can use for some other features in the next video we will also see about geofencing so basically geofencing is the feature where if you enter dwell or exit a particular location with a radius then you will get an update from the location service so on more on this later uh, so let's start with this code lab uh, i will have the link in the description so you can also follow along so basically uh, this is the feature they are just trying to display different uh, permissions dialog that you might see but that is not important what is important is that uh, there are certain concepts that you should know when you are working with location so now starting with android 10 and 11 if you want a foreground service or a service which is running in the background when you need to declare it so that is one of the most important part that we will see here and if you want your app to access uh, the location permission at all times and not only while using the app or allow while using the app because if your app is in the background then android does not consider the user to be using the app so if your background service which is running even if it is marked as foreground will need a special permission which the user will have to go to settings to give it okay so we'll see about that uh, so let's get started i have already cloned this location uh, or you can just download it from here the project has two modules base and complete so base is where we will make our changes and if you just want to see how the, how the completed code looks like you can use the complete module so there are main three components that we'll see here uh, there is the main activity which is our ui where you have the start and stop button and the location updates text view and it, this also connects to the service using a binder object so basically this is how and then it is also storing the preferences uh, whether the location update is on or off in the shared preferences file so yeah not much code that's all and yeah you have the as soon as you launch the app and press on start location update it will check whether you have the uh, permission or not and then it will show the dialog if needed so this is the actual service which gets the location updates so this is uh, running in the background and if you kill the app you can mark this as uh, foreground service so you will have to show a notification at the top we will see that how it comes this is where we need to put our code and this is just utils class to format and uh, like save the location to the shared preferences file location tracking preference not the actual location so yeah let's get started uh, once again okay so this is the app uh, so i was running it before that is why it is in stop so start it will start getting the updates so now uh, 
because I have cleaned the app and run it again it's not running but let us do one thing let us go and reset the permissions so don't go and deny the permission just clear the storage so that everything will get reset so now if I launch the app it will be brand new so yeah you can see it launches will start receiving and as soon as I press that I see this pop-up dialog so because we have declared the foreground service uh, this will ask Android or this will ask the user whether we want to even allow the app to access our location all the time which means even when the app is in the background so that you have to allow or that the user can only allow in the settings app and not in the dialogue he has to come here so something to take care of so currently location code is not there you won't see any location updates but our permission thing is sorted so let's go back and see what is next so more explanation on the permissions here allow only while using the app only when the app is in the foreground you can see the ui only then app will be allowed to access location so if you want to run the service in the background and get the update there is one more uh, location permission that you have to give which was introduced recently so you have this access background location permission so if you are targeting android 10 or higher and you want the background location then you need this Okay, so let's continue with foreground location so because we are using a foreground service uh, allow while using the app is enough but if you want to really be sure and get the location even in background then you need that background permission okay so from the permission side we've already declared access fine location so this is the actual permission that you will need so we are declaring permission to run a foreground service and we are also declaring permission to access the location so we have not declared a background permission here because we are, we are just using a foreground service so even allow all the time while using the app should be enough for our app So there are four main classes that you should know when we are requesting location access so first is the fused location provider client so this is a central component of the location framework uh, it will actually combine data from gps uh, wi-fi bluetooth and uh, even your mobile networks to get the latest most accurate location data for you the next is the location request this is the object in how you will tell android or the provider client location provider client like what kind of location request you're looking for what is the accuracy what is the priority and what is the time interval if you are looking for repetitive uh, location updates location callback will be is like an interface which will be called by the provider client to give you the location result and location result will have a location object which finally will have the longitude and latitude for you to use okay so yeah let's see so we have already added the permissions uh, we already have these variables defined so let's see we go to foreground only service so we can see we already have fused location provider client we have the location request we have location callback and we also have this current location which will serve as the last known location So they are only using the last location to put in the notification at the top not really everywhere okay so first thing we need to do is to initialize the provider client which is already done here and then we need to add this code to create the location request so here you can see we are giving an interval of one minute the fastest interval is 30 seconds and maximum wait time is two minutes so between 30 seconds and two minutes you will get an update from the uh, provider client with one or more location updates as the 
provider is able to detect and the priority we have given is high accuracy which means the location will have high accuracy in respect to the meters uh, on the range that you see on the map so step four is to initialize the location callback this is where we basically will get the location result and it will have the last location which we will use so we are using a local broadcast manager to notify the activity that okay we have got a new location to and then the activity will update the uh, text view so you can see here extra location log results to screen so this is how the activity is receiving it and this is how the service is sending the broadcast so this is done and finally we subscribe or we start the subscription to location updates so we are passing the location request object that we created the callback for the client and we also pass a thread on which we want the callback to come because we don't want to make our main thread uh, heavy so we'll pass a thread there so here and then we also need to write the code to unsubscribing once the user presses the stop button And then finally, yeah, we can run the app. So in the beginning, I mentioned that even to get uh, location updates in program and service, we need always allow, but that is not true. Allow while using the app should be enough for any foreground service to access uh, location, even if the app is in background. But you should have a foreground service with this permission if you're targeting P+. So foreground service, if you know, they will always show a notification at the top. So you can see we are getting these foreground location updates now and uh, if i press the app into background you will see that it will show one lo a location in android that is the name of the app uh, this notification at the top to inform the user about the user's location so now yeah it took some time but it changed the location at the top in the notification also so yeah this part is done so next step is to make the app proper for target SDK 29 and basically we need to go to build.gradle and this will be base build.gradle and we need to change the target SDK to 29 and I think they've also added build tools version just to be sure need to sync now again So because I have Android 31 already configured, it is showing that I'm not targeting the latest Android. That is a problem because uh, Google Play Store will only accept N minus one version. So it's always necessary to target at least 30 if the latest uh, version is 31. So next thing we need to do is we need to add this tag to our program service. We already asked for permission. We just need to tell the Android that this is the foreground service. So this will be done in the manifest. This foreground service will look for location updates. So yeah, let's run it again and see if it is still working. Apart from that, there are not much changes. Uh, the permission also remains the same. For R, you just need to put 30 here. Uh, this R might not work for you but there are no other for running it on R. Okay, it still works. You can see if the service is working. Yeah, notification is also working. So yeah, this is from uh, getting location updates. Now, once you have the update, it's up to you what you want to do, but please ensure the privacy of the user. Uh, location is a very sensitive uh, uh, personalized information so even if you are sending it to the backend uh, ensure that you are encrypting it and you're not identifying the user along with the location in the same call so yeah that is it from uh, this video in the next video we will see how to do geofencing see you there